Oh, hello everybody. So today I'll show you the power of keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys. So when we usually want to enter our commands into the computer, there are two ways to do it. Using either mouse or touchpad or the second way is to use the keyboard. Now the keyboard method uh, is much faster than using the mouse. Okay. Uh, and the, the second advantage of using the keyboard is that uh, it will help you stave off the injuries to the wrist by continuous use of uh, mouse for hours and hours. Okay, so for these two reasons, I prefer to use keyboards rather than using the mouse whenever I can. Now, there could be instances where you have to use mouse. There is no way to perform a certain function without using the mouse. There is no keyboard alternative. So in that case, go ahead, use the mouse. But for the other cases, you might as well consider uh, using keyboards. Um, so in this video, I'll try not to use my touchpad or mouse even once. So we'll see how far can I go along by simply using the keyboard. So here's my mouse pointer uh, in the top left corner, which I'll use simply to, which I may use to, to just point out certain objects to you, but I'll not click the mouse ever in this video. And uh, you may not have the same shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts as mine. So you might have to go to uh, uh, keyboard settings and in the middle tab over here you'll have to change the shortcuts or assign the shortcuts so as to make your computer function as mine okay in, in terms of keyboard shortcuts all right so with all that out of the way we can start uh, <coughs> we can we can start off so the first thing uh, noobs try to do is is simply internet browsing right so here is my launcher in the left right and the first icon in the launcher is chrome the other is f search the third is files fourth is terminal so to open the first icon that is chrome i'll have to press the super key plus one now the super key is the is the key to the left of the space uh, space bar not to the immediate left but uh, you know left to the left as in my keyboard this super key can be identified with the wing, uh, windows icon on it so if you're a windows user you call it the windows key okay and if you're an ubuntu user like me you call it the super key so super key plus one will open chrome super key plus two will open this f search super key plus three will open files and so on so let's open chrome super key plus one there is chrome and you can see the cursor is blinking in the search box if you want to make the cursor blink in the address bar which is over here you can just press ctrl t to open a new tab so here is a new tab and now the cursor is blinking in the address bar and let's you know open just youtube there you go this is mm, this is youtube uh, let's open another website let's say google translate right okay uh, and so on you can uh, you can switch among the tabs like using control plus tab control plus tab key and uh, well you can close them selectively by control plus w okay and whatever you closed it, just now you can reopen it by control shift tab and so on and uh, <coughs> yeah that's how it is right and let's say accidentally if i if i i can close this entire window by alt plus f4 and if I want all the tabs back, whichever I opened, which I, whichever I had opened, I can, I'll have to open Chrome again. So Windows plus one. So that's that. And now you have to press to get all the tabs back. Control shift T to have all the tabs back. All the four tabs have been restored. YouTube, translate and a new tab and Google, right? That's great. Uh, you can, um, go to your bookmarks using control shift o there's my bookmarks history right okay um <coughs> so i guess that was all i had in terms of chrome for now so pretty cool right uh, <coughs> a lot of things we can just uh, do using the keyboards now i close all this all these windows using uh, using control control um uh, sorry alt plus f4 okay um 
Now let me show you the concept of workspaces. So let me have Chrome opened up here and I can open Google Translate over here. Um, now let me open this F search. Okay, this the second the second icon over here this this is a file searching software which helps me uh, fish files in my hard drive so super key plus two is what opens it right um <clears throat> well uh, let's let's try to look for workspaces how do i how do i work with workspaces using keyboards so what is a workspace workspace is a concept which lets you extend your desktop space which it increases the space you have where you can place your windows so i have adjusted my keyboard shortcut so that super key plus page up page down will help me navigate through workspaces so right now i'm working in the default workspace which is workspace one and if i press super key plus page down i go to workspace two and you see it's like a whole new space where there's nothing it's empty I can use it right and page up will take me back to the first workspace so if I open something new let's say F search this the second icon over here which is which can be opened by super key plus two it occupies the second workspace so first workspace second workspace okay um well I can maximize this window by super key super key plus plus right so it has been maximized i can minimize by minimize it by super key plus minus key it goes there and you can adjust them like by uh, you know you can you can assign any keys you don't in, you don't necessarily have to assign the same keys as i as i have um to maximize and minimize you can make your own choice right so it's minimized so, but it's a second icon in the left panel, right? So how do I maximize it? How do I bring this back up? So this is super key. It's a second icon. So super key plus two, right? I get it back up. Okay. Um, let's, let me go back to my um, first workspace. Here I am. And how do I go to, let, let's say I have a couple of things open. Let me open all, let me also open this files or Nemo which can be opened by super key plus three. So I've got this one open too. So there are a couple of things. So let me, if I want to go to desktop directly, so super key plus D will do the job. It minimizes everything and I'm back to my desktop. Okay. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> I have a couple of things opened over here. I can switch among them by window, uh, super key plus tab. So it'll let me, um, sorry. Oops, that's not working for some reason. Oh, yeah. So I have I have made the adjustment so that it's not win, uh, super key plus tab. It's rather super key plus E or um, super key plus W. Super key plus E goes one way towards the left and super key plus W goes the other way. So I can access any of these things. I can access this file manager. I can access uh, this browser chrome and so on right okay so we have covered windows maximization minimization so let me minimize everything all at once okay here i am in on the desktop uh, there is a very good command which i'm which i am an absolute fan of this command is the right click menu key so it does the it 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 makes the same menu appear as would the right click of your mouse okay so that is done by shift plus f10 and there you go this is the menu right if you were to click here using your right click of the mouse right key of, uh, right button of your mouse it's the same menu that has appeared by um, the keyboard combination shift plus f10 and i can create a new document etc etc to make it disappear i'll have to press escape to make any menu disappear press escape okay now um let, let me see how to handle the file manager okay how to view the files so the file manager is a third icon in the uh, this panel so super key plus three will bring it back up and i can navigate through everything i can enter uh, into one of the folders using enter backspace will bring me back and <coughs> um 
here if I want to like let's say I want to rename a file how do I do that here I am and again if you had the mouse you would rename it by hitting the right button of your mouse and we have just learned that the way to do that using the keyboard uh, method is to simply use the shift plus F10 and here is the rename option you can delete and cut copy and whatever right how do you make it disappear escape key okay um so that's that a couple of things um in the terminal let's go to terminal what can we do with the terminal in the um, using the sh uh, keyboard shortcut so terminal is at the fourth position in the launcher so super key plus four will open the terminal uh, i want to maximize it so super key plus plus it maximizes it right i want to have two tabs open so unlike chrome here you have to press additionally shift key so control t won't do the job you'll have to press control shift key to get one more tab uh, up and running so control shift t again th three tabs how do we how do you switch here the way to switch is alt plus one will bring you to the first tab alt plus two will bring you to the second tab alt plus three to the third tab and if you want to close it again in chrome you had to do control plus w but here control shift w additionally you have to press shift key control shift w will close the current tab and so on so there is just one tab over here okay and let's exit the terminal <coughs> and um, finally let's let me show you how do I search for files in my computer so I have installed this amazing file searching software called F search right um, that's where I do all my file searching and um, so let's use it right away so uh, second position right it's at the second position in the launcher so Windows plus 2 oh yeah it's already opened there all right uh, let me let me um, search a document called documentation right okay so may, let's say I want the second the, the second option that's what I'm looking for so how do I open that folder I can open that folder by simply hitting enter and here I am there um, and let's see if I wanted to search for musical keyboard.pdf how would I have done that so I can close this file manager and I want to search again something in the, in the search box I want to type something but I can't move my I can't use the mouse click that's my that, that's a promise I have made to myself and all of you that are there so control F will take me to the find the find uh, box and now I can type musical keyboard all right that's there if I if I click on it like sorry not click but hit enter this PDF gets opened right and I can close it by control uh, sorry alt plus F4 closes this um, PDF reader let's say I have got this I've got this um, document there but I don't want to open the document right away what I want to do is I want Ubuntu to open the folder where this document is located how do I do that well how do you do that the way to do that is control plus enter not enter but control plus enter so if I press control plus enter the folder gets opened where this thing is musical keyboard right yeah and that is that also I can have like this thing is selected right musical keyboard has been selected if I want the further uh, further options uh, which are associated with it you would do that by right click of the mouse but here as I already explained we have to use shift plus F10 and uh, open folder yeah that's how I learned because open folder is control plus return return is same as enter so that's how I learned that control plus enter will open the folder where the file is located and so on um, so yeah these are further keyboard shortcuts so <coughs> um, yeah that's that um, also like wherever you are if you if you see a menu bar um, let me show you what do I mean by menu bar 
So here I am again in the file searching software and I'm looking for this musical keyboard uh, document and let me open the PDF and this is the f this is the file menu right this is the file menu how do you use that you press the alt button and then the the letters that are underlined like f in file the letter f has been underlined that means you have to press f to open the file menu and hit escape to hide it for the view menu the letter v has been underlined so alt plus v will open the view menu and so on right escape makes it go away alt plus b will open the bookmarks menu so this works here and this also works in the it, it works within a particular PDF reader and many other softwares it also works in the file manager so if I want to open the folder where this musical keyboard.pdf is located uh, I'll press control plus enter and here I am and here the file uh, the menu bar has called uh, has got file edit view go bookmarks help and the same procedure applies I have to press alt and you can see the letters in the menu bar are getting underlined when I, when I when I have the alt button pressed if I release alt they go away so edit in edit the keyword the key letter is E which is underlined so if I press alt plus E this opens right and uh, you can press right left menu right left arrow key to uh, switch between different menus escape to make, make it all go away okay let's close it all right um, so I hope you are at least a little impressed like how much can you achieve simply by um, using the keyboard shortcuts and just try it if you once you once your muscles get the memory they retain the memory of these keyboard shortcuts you'll be way way faster than um, than the person who is simply using the mouse to achieve all these operations and again to shut down my computer all I have to do is hit a keyboard combination which I have set so it's so fast like in a click in a, in a split second I can do it instead of just going to the menu clicking it the menu uh, gives your drop down menu further and you hit the shutdown then you you have to choose between shutdown restart log out etc etc whole bunch of it's a plethora of uh, steps and options I don't do that I simply hit two buttons at once my laptop shuts down I can't do that here because then the screen recording will also stop so yeah that is that that's all I had to share with all of you um, and yeah mind you I, I did not use touchpad even once during this laptop all right uh, I hope I hope to see you all next time goodbye